Looks like it's my lucky day. I've got ladybugs landing all over me. Welcome to Kirstenbosch Gardens. Time. I've got a review to do and I thought um, seeing we're in one of the most beautiful places in Cape Town, the Kirstenbosch Gardens, uh, which is lush and green, we should pick a country that is also famous for being lush and green and beautiful and scenic and that is New Zealand. I like the fact that it's got one of the opening shots, it's got some sheep in it, you know, mm -hmm. just to keep it uh, very New Zealand. And me, still, I'm in this game. Alright, so that was New Zealand South Island, a two week road trip by Connie. An absolutely beautiful landscape, scenery, sightseeing video um, showcasing exactly what New Zealand has to offer. It is absolutely no wonder Lord of the Rings is filmed there. Just watch this video. It's like scouting out all the scenes. Two things I would like to say about this video that make it really exceptional and good. The first one is that it is in harmony with itself. And what I mean by that is that the style of the video uh, is made up from various elements and that is the music that was selected, the shots that were used and the pace of the edit and then lastly the color grade and bringing all three or uh, all four of those elements together um, that complement each other is not always an easy thing to do and this video hits that spot on. It is absolutely peaceful, serene and gentle and calm and the part that I'd like to dig a little bit deeper on, which is the part two that I'd like to speak about, is the exceptionally good use of panning. Now, if you should be familiar with it, what a pan or tilt is, it's when the camera tilts either left to right or from the bottom to the top, vice versa, um, to get in sort of a scene that doesn't fit in when the camera is just static. Now, many people use a pan to, to try to sort of show a full landscape so that the viewer gets gets the feeling and the idea of what what the whole thing felt like but when it comes to making a beautiful video you don't need to pass the 90 degree mark and this video in particular doesn't even pass the 60 degree mark all the panning shots in this are somewhere between 40 and 60 degrees so it's actually just a slight little movement like this and that is what keeps the video calm peaceful and you still get a good idea of what that landscape was like. So don't force the pan past a certain point. Great video Connie, thank you for letting me use that as a perfect example of what good panning should look like. If you would like to know a little bit more about this, I have made a video on the tips and tricks on how to use panning better in your travel videos. I'll put that in the description and in a card above me. Right now I'd like to take the same serenity and capture where I am right now, which is Kirstenbosch Gardens. Had to be roll. So what makes Kirstenbosch so spectacular is the massive variety of plants that they have here.
easy, we share here. Definitely pack yourself a small picnic, even if it's a sandwich and a flask of coffee, tea, juice, whatever. It's just, I don't think you can find a place as peaceful as this, even though you're, you're literally in the city. Can't we all just get along? Something else that popped into my mind was that this video doesn't seem to have any drone shots in it and it's absolutely beautiful to see a video that is um, of landscapes, incredibly wide open beautiful landscapes without using a drone and I, that just, I find that very important that you can make a good video without a drone so I think many people today think that that isn't possible anymore and this video proves that it absolutely is. Cause I know